Howdy folks, I'm going to do a review of this kit. Uh, first of all, my German sucks. Uh, I really apologize for that, so I'm not going to bother. Because it's going to be as graceful as Stephen Hawking's on a trampoline. So, I'll skip it. I'm just going to refer to this as the German Half-Track 251-17. Uh, I guess I'll do the box first, seeing as it's in my way. Typical Dragon. The whole kit is typical Dragon, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. Uh, this one's an anti-aircraft version, and it gives you the option, as the picture shows there, of having the hull sides up or down. Uh, strangely, this one doesn't give you the option, in theory, according to the instructions, of leaving the, the back doors open. You can see three paint schemes. We'll get back to that. And uh, I'll move on to this quickly. I've got a couple of books and some reference. There's this one. Uh, not a bad book. We'll skip directly to the stuff that deals with ours. There's only a couple of pictures of them. Let's see if I can get this into focus. In this book, they all seem to be from some sort of training uh, training day. I don't think they're actually in combat, it just looks too neat and clean. A bunch of guys operating it. Uh, I think pretty much the picture Dragon used as the basis for the artwork on the box. What else is there? Uh, the Mad Scramble, it looks like a drill to me, because if they were actually going to be under attack, I doubt someone's going to be taking a picture. Uh, one picture with the sides down. Let me get rid of the flash. Uh, it's quite an interesting machine. And some of the bum. I assume he's getting out, otherwise he's really leaping. Anyway, that's it for that one. And there's one picture in this one. Uh, so much for marking the pages. And that's it there. That appears to be uh, dry. I'm not sure if that's North Africa. Uh, the ground certainly looks like it could be. Or it could be part of Russia. I'm not sure which. Anyway, that's all I have in the way of reference for this thing. On to this. Dragon's instructions. Typical dragon. And get this someplace comfortable. Only more so. Uh, let's see if I can get this to stand on its own so I can point. Tripod's working a little bit. As Dragon likes to do, we have multiple sprues with the same identifier. Uh, a, B, C, D, more Ds, E, then just to throw in the confusion you've got blue A, blue B, blue E, blue C, because dragon's fun that way. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is, any of the ones that are actually marked as a blue, I'm going to put some tape on the sprue before I start with it, just to save myself a little bit of grief later on. Uh, typical dragon build-up. The usual colors. Uh, now this one is actually probably a little bit worse than the typical dragon. Some of the instructions are pretty stupid or make no sense. Like this. Let's get right in there. Apparently you're supposed to make sure that the wheels are round. I think that's actually in reference to your choice in rims. Let's see if this zooms in. One is notched. All the way around. And I think they're trying to make you match the flat surface with the actual cogs. Uh, and the other one is just completely round and smooth apparently. 
so uh, glancing through this I noticed that it appears that with the do not glue instructions the visors are going to be operable or operable uh, for the drivers the drivers front uh, and side visors but they don't give you any indication on how to do that with the back door which is annoying and this is where it's a dragon but more so there's so much going on with this model I think these instructions are probably cluttered even for dragon as you can see they give you the option of where is it down here I, somewhere in between these two you've got the option of doing the side of the hull up or down uh, it's not movable you have to glue in the right length arms to get the right position and Dragon as usual does some of the sub assemblies one of the issues I have I mean, it's not a huge deal but it's annoying when you're just glancing through trying to get an idea of stuff they show you a sub-assembly here and an arrow that terminates here yet the part is down here I don't know if you can see that that's just putting the sub-assembly together up there the arrow stops there and there's the part down there going on uh, the other thing that I'm going to have to see when I get to it is you have to select parts based on the angle you want. Let's zoom in. 0% angle, meaning straight out, 20%, 40%, or a 60% incline on the gun barrel. And you have to use certain parts according to which angle you want. And again, that's obviously the sight of the gun I've got, or the, the sight of the mount. I've got no idea where that is. Maybe it becomes a little bit more obvious as you put things together, but from the instructions, to me, that's the right side of the mount, and that's the right side of the mount. Uh, so, I, putting this together is going to be a treat. Uh, and then the tracks we'll get to uh, are what I've noticed before Dragon uses on their half tracks these individual links and then you add the pad the pad locks the next link in uh, they give you three color schemes that they've got in the box all are Herman Goring division the Luftwaffe division 1942 that would be someplace in Europe the typical uh, field gray or dark gray German gray whatever you want to call it uh, East Prussia 44 that is all Dunkelgelb and the one I'm gonna do and I assume most people doing this one will do because it's just far more interesting is Tunisia 1943 uh, Dunkelgelb with some olive green across it. Uh, so, as you can see with the instructions, I'm not a fan of these particular dragons, or this particular dragon model. What they did do is kindly name the guy responsible. Technical drawings provided by Dan Graves. Uh, I hope they refer to the actual uh, vehicle itself because if I find out who did these instructions I'm gonna kick him in the nuts hard enough it knocks all the buggers out of his nose anyway on to this oh and I skipped the bottom of the box didn't I yeah we'll come to that uh, no magic track on the dragon card there is a lot of photo etch uh, some of it out of the way, but I don't have a great camera, you have to work with me here. These bits are the brass catchers for the, let me see if I can get a better angle, 
for the gun itself, mount onto it on the side. You have to put these two halves together and then it mounts and forms the bottom half of the basket. Uh, that's going to be a challenge for me because you've got to line up the outside edge with the outside edge and photo etch crazy glue and I or, or CA whatever you want to call it are not a great mix we don't get along all that well uh, some more typical photo etch more photo etch and I have no idea Let me get this out Poorly. That is the seat backs. Uh, it's supposed to be the springs in the seat. There. These long ones, I have no idea what they're for. I tried looking in the instructions. They're just so cluttered, I gave up looking. Uh, you have. Oops. You can make up your own license plates. Uh, trying to move away. Hey, sorry about that. Battery lot is down. Anyway, decals seem to be the regular Dragon quality. Uh, I think I was in the middle of saying you have to put together your own license plates if you want to do so, and they will have to be for the Luftwaffe. And I can't remember. I think it's W L is the beginning of any Luftwaffe plate. These ones here. Over there. Uh, only 20 of these of this particular model half-track were actually built and all of them went to the Luftwaffe. This is what my sources are saying. The plastic is typical Dragon. Uh, no flash. No major problems to note. Try and get rid of the glare. The detail on the floor. You know what? I'll actually cut that out. Hold on a minute. You can see, or you will see. Hold on. Let's find with this. Hopefully, my camera picks this up. just make out the non-skid tread along there especially in the center section yeah, will it go in? work with me doesn't want to focus anyway, it's really sharp, really crisp uh, onto this. The front tires are split in two, so you're going to have a seam to deal with. Shouldn't be a huge issue. And there's our buggery little tracks. I'm going to give these a try. I also have two sets of tracks coming from AFV Club. And they give you the base of the actual gun itself. I don't know why. I guess there's one or two parts you probably need off this sprue. Probably just the ammunition. But you can probably build up the trailer itself uh, for something else, or you should just abandon it or put it behind another truck or a half track if you want to. Knock yourself out with it. Uh, anyway, Oop, there's one piece loose. I have to figure out where that came from. And there's the seat backs to which you're going to attach the uh, photo etch springs. And I lost my train of thought there. Oh well, if someone reminds me, maybe I'll respond in the, to the video comment. Uh, let's just keep going. Oh yeah, the AFV tracks. I've got some rubber bands coming and AFV's workable ones. The difference with their workable ones is apparently you can glue the pad onto the track itself and then click them together as opposed to Dragon which seems to be uh, click them together and then glue the pad down. 
which uh, I've not had any luck with. Uh, it's definitely not a job for Tamiya. But I'll do a review of the three different track systems once I get the other two ones in. And typical crispness, crispness on the MG34s. Very nicely done. Uh, you know, a little bit of texture on the inside of the, the plastic. Maybe those are the seats we're using. Who knows? Uh, one thing I do want to show you, I found interesting, is on their DS figure for the driver. First of all, I haven't really played with this. Fairly spongy and flexible. Nice and bendy, mushy. So you'll get into position once he's painted and the interior's painted. He should fit in nicely. What I do like, what I wish everybody did, is slots and tabs on the figures. There's a tab, there's a slot up there to match. Same with the arms. There's a tab. Am I getting it? Probably not. And on the arms, matching tab. Focus. Yeah, kind of. I wish kit builders, or kit makers, I should say, would do that with everything, with all the figures. It would make life a lot simpler. And if you decide you need to repose it, then you can go to the effort of just cutting that tab off, sanding it down, and putting it together the way you want. And then probably putting in filler to make up for a couple of gaps. I wish they did that on all figures. And not just dragging. Everybody should do it. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this. Typical dragon, only a little bit more so. Uh... And it should be a fun build, if I don't lose my mind. Lots of clear plastic. That'll be all the uh, vision blocks for the driver. Some of the external vision blocks, it looks like, are actually clear. Let's see if I can get this one. That looks like the exterior. Anyway, I've got to go and try and edit two vid videos together now, and I've never done that. And that piece there is going to be problems getting off the sprue, the cracking it. Probably the same with that one. Just have to be careful with it. Again, there's... Come on, focus. Uh, it's not really focusing for me. There's fine diamond plate on that piece right there. And on the piece below it. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Uh, it's not picking it up. Anyway, to everybody in the, uh, the half-track group build, or SIG, I can't remember which one it is now, enjoy yourselves, have a good time. See you later. Bye.